again. Welcome to the Cathedral of Christ our Savior. Special welcome to any visitors or newcomers to Paris. Special greetings also for those joining us online. Today we celebrate the 26th Sunday in Ordinary Time. Our presider for this morning's liturgy is Father Ray Pasqual. Please stand. As we begin our celebration today, please join us with the hymn, Sing a New Song. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good morning to everyone. Good morning, Father. On this last Sunday of September, we thank the Lord for the many blessings He has granted us this month. He is a most generous God. At the same time, we are invited to grow spiritually by practicing generosity and rejecting its opposite. We are likewise challenged to be open to many peoples who are doing God's work even if they do not belong to our church. My brothers and sisters, as we pre prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us see if we have made our own the priorities of the gospel. For our petty acts of envy and any attempt to monopolize you, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. For our insensitivity toward the plight of the poor and the marginalized in our society, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. For our choosing what is immediately gratifying without considering its disastrous consequences for our spiritual life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us of our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
God who manifests your almighty power above all by pardoning and showing mercy, bestow, we pray, your grace abundantly upon us and make those hastening to attain your promises heirs to the treasures of heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. Introduction to the first reading. God is absolutely free in the distribution of His gifts. Although He sets up ordinary channels for this distribution, He also acts outside these official structures. Please listen to the <laughs> first reading. A reading from the book of Numbers. The Lord came down in the cloud and spoke to Moses. Taking some of the spirit that was on Moses, the Lord bestowed it on the seventy elders. And as the Spirit came to rest on them, they prophesied. Now two men, one named Eldad and the other Medad, were not in the gathering but had been left in the camp. They too had been on the list but had not gone out to the tent. Yet the Spirit came to rest on them also, and they prophesied in the camp. So when a young man quickly told Moses, Eldad and Medad are prophesying in the camp. Joshua, son of Nun, who from his youth had been Moses' aide, said, Moses, my lord, stop them. But Moses answered him, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were prophets. Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit on them all. Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm, let your response be, The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The law of the Lord is perfect, it revives the soul. The decrees of the Lord are steadfast, they give wisdom to the simple. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. The fear of the Lord is pure, abiding forever. The judgments of the Lord are true. They are, all of them, just. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. So in them your servant finds instruction. Great reward is in their keeping. But who can detect their own errors? From hidden faults acquit me. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. From presumption restrain your servant. May it not rule me. Then shall I be blameless, clean from grave sin. The precepts of the Lord give joy to the heart. Introduction to the second reading. St. James reminds us today that the blessings we receive in this life are not meant for our selfish enjoyment, but to enable us to do good to those in need. Failure to do so will be judged by God very severely. Please listen to the second reading. A reading from the letter of James. Come now, you rich, weep and wail over your impending miseries. Your wealth has rotted away, your clothes have become moth-eaten, your gold and silver have corroded, and that corrosion will be a testimony against you. It will devour your flesh like a fire. You have stored up treasure for the last days. Behold, the wages you withheld from the workers who harvested your fields are crying aloud, and the cries of the harvesters have reached the ears of the Lord of hosts. You have lived on earth in luxury and pleasure. You have fattened your hearts for the day of slaughter. You have condemned. You have murdered the righteous one. He offers you no resistance. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Truth. 
consecrate us in the truth. Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. At that time, John said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name, and we tried to prevent him because he does not follow us. Jesus replied, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Anyone who gives you a cup of water to drink because you belong to Christ, I'm and I say to you, will surely not lose his reward. Whoever causes one of these little ones who believe in me to sin, it would be better for him if a great millstone were put around his neck and he were thrown into the sea. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life maimed than with two hands to go to Jehenna into the unquenchable fire. And if your foot causes you to sin, cut it off. It is better for you to enter into life crippled than with two feet to be thrown into Jehenna. And if your eye causes you to sin, pluck it out. Better for you to enter into the kingdom of God with one eye than with two eyes to be thrown into Jehenna where the worm does not die and the fire is not quenched. Brothers and sisters, the good news of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Good morning to everyone. The gospel today has two parts, actually. The first part, okay, the first Jesus teaching on who is part of building God's kingdom or who belongs to the team, Jesus. Okay, and the second part is how to enter it. But it is just worth noting that in the second part, if it will be translated literally, some of us maybe will have one eye or no eyes, no mouth, one hand or no hands, one foot or no feet, or some will have only a hand going to heaven. If we translate the second part, into uh, literally but so what we ask ourselves so what is jesus really saying to us this morning he is saying that first the kingdom of god is open for everyone it is open for everyone no discrimination if a particular christian denomination is exclusivist and they would always say, we are the only ones who will be saved and the rest will go to hell. Mm -hmm. That's already suspect. Because the church that Christ built is a church that embraces everyone and teaches that the plan of God is that everyone goes to heaven. If you want to go to hell, then that's your decision. It's always a matter of freedom. But the fact remains, God wants us to go to heaven. The kingdom of God is open for everyone. A lot of those people whom Jesus healed were neither Jews nor Christians. Yet we did not hear Jesus say, from now on, you need to become a Jew. Or from now on, you need to become a Christian. Or from now on, you need to become a Muslim. Or from now on, you need to become so on and so forth. 
to follow Jesus is always a free decision. Second, everyone is given a share in his mission in building up the kingdom. That's why he called the apostles. We may wonder why Jesus did that. If Jesus is almighty, if his power is almighty, if he is a God, then no need to use people to build the kingdom. And that's the mystery. But the mystery is revealed by him. Because God wants us to have a share, to have a participation in the building up of the kingdom. Because if not, then Jesus would, not, would have just used his power. He would just have to uh, configure all our brains into heaven mode. And all of us will go to heaven. All of us will be, well, will be doing God's will. But we have a God, although we are His creatures, although we are created, He respects our freedom. That's how beautiful our God is. He respects our freedom. He does not force people to go to heaven. But He offers the gift of salvation that everyone goes to heaven. It's like a party. Everyone is invited to a party, but it's up to you to say yes or no. Some would say yes, but they will not, they would, they will not go. Some says no, but they would like to go. Anyway, the choice is always ours, but God wants us to participate in the building up of his kingdom. And this is the very point what Jesus was was saying in the gospel today as his response to the request of the apostles to Jesus about a man, not a member of his disciples, casting demons to stop. And that's why Jesus said, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. For whoever is not against us is for us. Therefore, Every person who is not against Jesus is part of the team of building God's kingdom regardless of the religious affiliation. Third, that envy, jealousy, and scandal that is leading others to sin are the very obstacles or hindrances to the building of God's kingdom. The first scandal was the envy of the serpent in the Garden of Eden. He was called a serpent, but he was actually Satan. Satan enticed the woman to sin, and the woman in turn enticed man, Adam, to sin. Envy, jealousy, and scandal are like weapons of mass destruction. They have destroyed so many families, communities, societies, countries, friendships, companies, churches, Paris organizations more than guns, bombs, and other weapons of mass destruction. Envy, jealousy, and scandal. Fourth, we have to make a decision to give up these sins in our lives if we want to be a part of God's kingdom and to be a part of the team of Jesus. Jesus showed us how. Pluck your eye. Cut off your hand, cut off your foot if they cause you to sin. So what it really means is all about conversion and repentance. Going back to the Lord. Redirect our steps to the correct path, the correct way. Conversion and repentance will bring us healing and restoration. But we have to decide to give up our sinful lives and live in the Spirit, like giving up our exclusivist mentality to being inclusive. Then we will be able to be part of the team in building up the kingdom and be part of the kingdom as well. Amen.
Please hold hands and right. let us together profess our faith. I believe, I believe in, one in one God, God the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, earth of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made, for us men and for our salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. For, let us now offer our prayers to God, the Father of justice and compassion. For our church and parish community, that in our prayer and work together, we may proclaim God's great love for all of humankind. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who proclaim the gospel as teachers, writers, scholars, and preachers, that the Spirit of God may be revealed in their work. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the leaders of nations and the peoples of the world, that the spirit of peace, understanding, and wisdom may come to rest upon them. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For those who manage corporations and financial institutions, that they may conduct their business with justice and a commitment to the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who are suffering from the effects of physical, sexual, or substance abuse, that they may be healed and made whole through the compassionate care of family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For those who have died in the peace of Christ, especially Michael Espina, that he may be welcomed into the company of the saints. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. For the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Bestow your spirit upon us, O Lord, so that in all things we may act in Jesus' name to reach out to one another without condition, without judgment, without bias, without thought to, to, the, without thought to the cost, for no other reason than that they are your sons and daughters. Hear these prayers we offer for them and for us. In the name of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Please be seated. As we prepare for the offering, please join us with the hymn, You Satisfy the Hungry Heart. Thank you. 
pray, my sisters and brothers, uh, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise, praise and glory of his name, for, for our good, good and the good, and the good of all, all his holy church. Grant us, O merciful God, that, that this offering may find acceptance with you, and that through it the wellspring of all blessing may be laid open before us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For we know it belongs to your boundless glory that you came to the aid of mortal beings with your divinity and even fashioned for us a remedy out of mortality itself, that a cause of our downfall might become the means of our salvation through Christ our Lord. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which shall be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which shall be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. <clears throat> The mystery of faith. As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Martin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. 
Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that we, the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you, through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him and with him and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor he shores, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Sons and daughters of a loving and merciful Father, let us now offer the prayer Jesus Himself taught us. peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I live you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other this sign of peace. the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not, not worthy that you should enter under my roof, 
but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Your body and blood of Christ, bring me to our lust to life. We would like to request our Catholic brothers and sisters who are in a state of grace and are receiving the Holy Communion to please come to the aisle and please observe social distancing between you and the person in front of you. And for our non-Catholic brothers and sisters and those who have not received their First Communion yet, please remain in your seat, remain in your pew. Father will give his blessings during the conclusion rites. Thank you. 各位朋友my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. As we receive the body of Christ, please join us with the hymn, You Are Near.
Please rise. Let us pray. May this heavenly mystery, O Lord, restore us in mind and body, that we may be co-heirs in glory with Christ, to whose suffering we are united whenever we proclaim his death, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Let's all kneel to pray the prayer for protection in time of pandemic. O Mary, you always brighten our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain while remaining steadfast in faith. O loving Mother, you know what we need and we are confident that you will provide for us as at Cana in Galilee. Intercede for us with your son Jesus, the divine physician, for those who have fallen ill, for those who are vulnerable, and for those who have died. Intercede also for those charged with protecting the health and safety of others, and for those who are tending to the sick and seeking a cure. Help us, O Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father as, and to do as we are told by Jesus, who took upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows so as to lead us through the cross to the glory of the resurrection. Amen. Under thy protection we seek refuge, O Holy Mother of God, in our needs, despise not our petitions, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Please be seated for some announcements. Thank you. We would like to thank Father Ray for a wonderful liturgy today. I'd like to thank everybody who helped during the Mass, our musicians, our readers, our acolytes, and everybody else. Thank you. We'd like to greet members of, uh, new members of our parish. So if this is your first time here, do you mind standing up so we can acknowledge you? Anybody here for the first time? Oh, thank you. Welcome. So, uh, welcome. We have a Mass at 11.30 every Sunday. And we'd just like to remind everybody that we are still under the, under the health protocol. So, in compliance with that, I'd just like to remind you that uh, when you come in to look for your seat, look for a place with a marker. And you should be seated with a marker in front of you. Okay. Just uh, a reminder next week when you come. Actually, the best time to look for a seat is uh, before Mass starts. Okay? So, uh, we have a, for those who are new here, we have a line app. In a, we have a line, a line group in our church. And um, this is where we put our announcements or special intentions for the Mass. If you want to be part of this uh, line group, uh, please let me know after Mass and I will include you. Also, for those who do not know, we have a men's group in our church, and we normally meet uh, once a month, usually on the third or fourth Sunday. It's just, just a group of men in the church uh, sharing life experiences. And today we will be meeting in uh, David's house. He's very generously uh, offered this house because uh, most of the restaurants cannot accommodate a group of people. If you want to join this, uh, it will happen this afternoon at 4 p.m. And uh, what we normally do is uh, we bring snacks and then uh, we order food out and we have a good time. So if you want to join this, please let me know after Mass. Another thing is uh, we normally have uh, snacks after Mass, but uh, because of the health protocols, we cannot do that anymore. But uh, we get uh, generous gifts from people. So I have a bag of these snacks. I'll just put it outside the door for... Uh, young people or those young at heart just get you know what you want and, uh, okay so everybody's welcome to this bag thank you please rise for the final blessing the lord be with you and with your spirit bow your heads and pray for god's blessing may the lord in his love fill you with his wisdom so that you may choose and do what is pleasing to him Amen. may he give you a magnanimous heart which which rejoices in the good that others have or do. Amen. May he grant you the strength that you need to make even greater sacrifices.
to inherit everlasting life. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit Amen. descend upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be, Thanks to, be God. to God. As we close our celebration today, please join us with the hymn, Pass It On.